Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans. This week you chose Dead Metal as the next house robot pullback that I should review. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have Dead Metal in this packaging which has the Robot Wars logo at the top and it is Dead Metal with extreme attacking action and stacking barrels with his saw cutting through the box. The window display is nice and large giving us a top down view of the toy and his accessories. The back features a look at the toy as well as the others in the range and that little cut out and keep trading card. So that's it for the box. Let's open it up and take a look at the toy itself. Okay, so here we have Dead Metal. At the front he has his pincers, and these look really great with the raised spikes on the top and the sharpened edges. Behind those we get this weird platform section which houses the front wheel, but it isn't too accurate. Above it is the circular saw, which is serrated and has rough detailing on each side of where his eyes should be. The back is in a sort of coffin shape, complete with raised spikes, while at the base you can see this grid design and caution roughly moulded into it, with a spike acting as his tail. The sides look the same, with those large pointed spikes and the cage section covering the wheels. Speaking of which, they have sculpted some wheels inside, yet the actual pullback wheels can clearly be seen next to them, which often confused me as a kid and kind of still does now. So for detail it looks great, if a little inaccurate in places. Turning to features, Dead Metal's pincers are spring activated and can be opened by pulling this lever back. I do appreciate how when the lever is pulled back it kind of completes that missing section of armour on the front. To make the pincers close, just let go of the lever and they will snap shut. It's not accurate to the show, but this can be easily fixed by closing them slowly with your finger. Another feature the toy has is one that I wasn't really aware of as a little boy. It took me years to work out that the saw can move forward. This is done by pulling the saw, which will cause the middle section to move up and arch over, just like in the show. This also exposes some rough detailing of the motors inside. The saw blade can move, but it is very stiff and it can't spin freely, which is unfortunate. Finally, on the underside we get three wheels. The one at the front is just freewheeling, while the back two are connected to the pullback motor. Just like the others, this is very powerful and it can send dead metal off at speed. Flipping to accessories, dead metal comes with an extra weapon, Kilolot's drill bit. This again confused me as a kid as it doesn't really make any sense. It pegs onto the back of the toy where it just sort of sits there and does nothing. Very bizarre. Uh, the barrels from the pinball tournament are also included. There are six in total and each of them look the same with the yellow and black hazard tape wrapped around them and a red five in the middle representing the amount of points you get for knocking each one down during the tournament. These can be stacked up just like in the show and knocked down using the powerful pullback motor of any of the Robot Wars toys. Doing a size comparison you can see that Dead Metal looks great next to any of the other toys in the range but I can't help but feel that he is a little bit narrow than the real robot. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, it's great, but it's definitely the weakest of the house robot toys that I've reviewed so far when it comes to detail, features and accessories. It looks disproportionate, the claws are very basic and the barrels are kind of dull. I also think that the feature to have the saw move back and forth should have been motorised as well, perhaps powered by springs, while an option should have been given to click the front pincers open, giving it a better display option, and the extra drill bit weapon is just confusing. It's worth buying just to complete the collection, but I think it could have been done better. So, what did you think of the Dead Metal pullback? Did you own it as a kid, or are you planning on picking one up as an adult to add to your Robot Wars collection? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, please do hit subscribe for more videos, and keep up to date with my upcoming reviews by liking my Facebook page, and following me on Twitter as well. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.